This is about the frequency modulation. So when the frequency of the carrier wave is changed in accordance with the intensity of the signal, the process is called as frequency modulation. In frequency modulation, the amplitude and phase of the carrier wave remains constant. Only frequency of the carrier wave is changed in accordance with the signal. The frequency variation of the carrier wave is depends upon the instantaneous amplitude of the signal. When the signal voltage is zero at A, C, E, G, the carrier frequency will not get changed. Here it won't get changed. When the signal approaches a positive peak B and F, the carrier frequency is increased to maximum as shown by the closely cycles, phase cycles. But during the negative peak of the signal as at here. The carrier frequency is reduced to minimum as shown by the widely spaced cycles. The louder signal causes greater frequency in modulated carrier as indicated by increased bunching and spreading of the waves as compared with the relative weaker signals. So, the frequency of an FM transmitter without signal input is called as the resting frequency or the center frequency and this is allotted the frequency of the transmitter. When the signal is applied, the carrier frequency deviates up and down from its resting value of O. The change or shift either above or below the resting frequency is called as frequency deviation. The total variation in frequency from the lowest to the highest is called as carrier swing. So, carrier swing is equal to 2 into the frequency deviation. So, 2 into delta F. For the purpose of FM broadcast, it has been internationally agreed to restrict the maximum deviation to 75 kilohertz on each side of the center frequency for sounds of maximum loudness. What is the advantage? So it gives a noiseless reception. Noise is a form of amplitude variation and a FM receiver will reject such noise signals. The operating range is quite large and the efficiency of the transmission is really high. A much wider channel is required from FM transmitter. So, FM transmitting and receiving equipment tends to be more complex.